All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, as we wind down to the end of the 350 million download celebration, which I believe is ending on October 7th or something like that, it's time for us to look forward to what's coming next for both sides of the game, Global and JP. So, starting with the JP side, as some of you guys might have seen in the in-game news, it was revealed that a new stage for the Kefla token event is on the way, which obviously means that we're going to be getting a new Dokkan Festival exclusive Kefla unit. Now, at this point in time, we don't have any specific details about this character, aside from the fact that she's coming, so we don't really know if it's going to be like a Kale and Khalifla unit that fuse into Kefla, or if it's just going to be a standalone. Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Now, based on the image, the fact that they're showing us a Kefla as opposed to a Kale and Khalifla, I think it's most likely going to be a standalone unit, which is honestly what I prefer anyways, because I don't really like the fusion mechanic in Dokkan, but uh, we'll have to see. And I'm also really hoping that with this new Kefla unit, we finally get an Extreme Z Awakening for the OG Fizz Kefla, man, because she is just not very good right now. I mean, obviously, when she first came out, she was kind of cool because she had a bunch of different effects. She was like a hybrid of the AGL Khalifla and the Fizz Kale with like the multiple supers and the dodging and all that stuff. But at this point, she's, like I said, just not that impressive. Like her damage is super low. Her defense is atrocious. So yeah, that AZA is very, very much needed. So fingers crossed we get it with this new release. And uh, yeah, that is the JP side of things. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. I've seen some definitely mixed reactions to this news online on Twitter because some people are like, yo, it's Kefla, man, gotta go in. And then others are like, yo, this is a big skip. I don't want Kefla. I was hoping for something else, like a new metal cooler or something like that. So uh, yeah, I definitely want to hear your opinions in the comments about this upcoming Kefla. But uh, now let's move on to the global side of things where some people, myself included, were kind of hoping that because we were getting some like global first, you know, great ape, Extreme Z Awakenings, and there was like that release of the new figure at the New York Comic Con, that maybe just maybe, we would get a global first Dokkan Fest, which was always a long shot, and I wasn't really expecting it, I was just kind of hoping, because I think it's always cool to get a new unit on global first, but uh, as it turns out, according to Air Dokkan on Twitter, uh, he says that we're not going to be getting a global first, and the next unit, the next Dokkan Fest unit on global is in fact going to be, uh, let me just quickly pop over here, this guy right here, the AGL Kid Gohan, which was like the original expectation anyways before we got the news about the EZAs and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, AGL Kid Gohan Dokkan Fest, supposedly, according to Air Dokkan, on the way for Global, dropping in, you know, like five days or so, and I'm not gonna say I'm like upset by it, I'm not, obviously, like I, I think he's a good unit, like a really good unit. Uh, I'm definitely at least moderately hyped for him, but I just feel like it would have been a lot more hype to get a global first. But once again, it was a long shot, so no surprises here. Alright, so uh, let me just quickly go over the details for this Gohan for anybody that isn't aware of what he does. Uh, leader skill is heavenly events, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. New category, of course, or Bond of Master and Disciple, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack raises defense, causes supreme damage, or sorry, immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then he has a unit super attack, which raises defense, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And then the uh, activation for the unit super attack is... Uh, you have to have an ally whose name includes Piccolo, Demon King Piccolo, and Majin Buu excluded, or Krillin, youth excluded, on the team. 
His passive is defense plus 158%, attack plus 158%, when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 58%, when there is another heavenly event category ally attacking in the same turn, plus an additional attack plus 58% and stuns the attacked enemy when performing a super attack after receiving attack. All allies keep plus 3 and defense plus 58%. And then active skill is light shield, recovers 30% HP, guard all attacks for one turn, and all allies defense plus 20% for two turns. So a very, very good defensive active skill can be activated when HP is 58% or less, once only. Links the Innocence, Demonic Ways, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Gates of Respect, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, Bond of Master and Disciple, Planetary Destruction, and Heavenly Events. And uh, we do have some extra calculations here. So, his additional attack plus 58% is calculated separately at the start of turn for a total boost of attack plus 307.64%. But there is another Heavenly Event category ally in the same turn, an attack plus 399.28% after being attacked. So, as I said, yo, this kid Gohan is phenomenal. He's very, very powerful and a really good tank, like just a very solid unit overall. But, um, I don't know about you guys, just like Kid Gohan, like Kid Gohan specifically as a form, as a character doesn't exactly hype me up that much so i mean his animations look good um and all that stuff his banner i if i remember correctly wasn't too bad either so it's gonna be a fine release you know like it's it's gonna be fine but uh a global first just would have been so much cooler man <laughs> it would have been so much cooler but it, it's all good it's all good i'll get over it so uh, Kid Gohan, coming to global next, guys, for my global players, for my JP players. Uh, Kefla is, is on the way, and I mean, I think, how do I feel about this? You know, I'm just taking taking it in right now, like, because I haven't had too much time to process it, but I, I guess I'm, I'm hopeful about this unit. Um, I'm hoping that she's going to be a little bit less niche than the last Kefla we got, you know, the STR Kefla can be really good, but it's only in like certain situations where you can get the most out of her, right? Like the, the orb requirement was kind of crazy, and uh, I just don't really use her that much, you know what I mean? So I'm really hoping this Kefla is a lot more usable on more teams, in more situations, and uh, I'm sure the animations will be phenomenal, because the, the last Kefla's animations were insane to me, you know? So uh, yeah, animation-wise, I think, I think they're going to be really good. Um, you know, in terms of the kit, I'm sure she's going to be very powerful. I just want them to make, you know, make sure she's not as limited, in a sense, as the last one. But there you go, man. Um, Kefla for JP, Gohan for Global. There's your quick update. Look forward to both dropping on both sides in, within the next week or so. And, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Erdokan for some of the news updates that I used in this video. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.